Hi guys, welcome to the Cardionics Podcast. It's Rita, Shalom, Shasha, and Sinead. And we are the ladies of Cardionics. So today we are actually starting a new series. It's in, it's regarding gigs. We are actually exploring gig work in the gig economy. And we thought to ourselves, you know, this is really big right now. People are uh, ordering from Postmates, they're working for DoorDash, they're um, getting jobs off of Fiverr. I mean, there's a million gig jobs out there. And we thought, you know, let's explore this. Let's see if we can actually uh, make money doing it because it's something where it's promoted a lot. You know, if you go to, let's say, Penny Hoarder or Dollar Sprout or any of those other websites, they'll say, hey, you want to make some quick cash? Why don't you try this and this and this? And one of those is survey sites. So we actually explored Inbox Dollars. And on that website, you we were able to take um, surveys, play games, watch videos all for money. If you want to see what we did and how we did it, please watch our video on Cardionics um, where you can see it. But today we wanted to talk about our experience. So what did you guys think about it? I thought it was a waste of time because the effort you put into it was not the same as the money you earned from it. True, true. I have to agree with Shasha. I think it really did was what well, I think it really was a time waster, really. I got, I don't know, like just to put in the hours um, to do the surveys and then just get that little money. I don't know. I don't I don't see it worth it. There was a lot of scammy things about it. They just want I think they just want you to sign up so that they have more people signing up to do it. But then once you get on there and they offer five dollars when you sign up, you have the five dollars, but you have to make 30 to get a payout. So you do the surveys and they constantly these are like the three things that I was thinking of. They're constantly redirecting you. They're constantly like, oh, you don't apply for this. And then they're constantly re-asking questions and making it super, super long to make you just quit. A bunch of things that they're trying to make you just just to quit. They want you on the website, but they don't want you making any money. That's what it seems like. So basically, they want to sabotage you. Yeah. Basically, I just think it's all... Basically, I just think it's all for research purposes. Yes, exactly. Hmm. Well, I tell you, I agree with them. It was a big, fat waste of time. For example... They said you can't cash out until you hit $30. But how long did it take us to even make a quarter? An hour. No, just a quarter. Um, Like 30 minutes? Like half an hour, 20 to 30 minutes. But we were able to make, and this is between the four of us, we were able to make an hour, no, sorry, a dollar in one hour. Yeah, a dollar per hour. Do you know how long it would take to make $30? Do you guys know how much minimum wage is? How much is it? Isn't it like? Five dollars? Eight dollars? How much? I actually don't know. Like how much? I thought, well, you know what? I was going to say, I was going to say how much it is, but now you guys got me questioning what I think it is. I heard at McDonald's you earn, I think, no, I don't even know. How much do you? Well, what is the minimum wage in other countries versus America? Okay, so right now the federal minimum wage is seven dollars and 25 cents. Okay. Wow. An hour? Yeah. Mm -hmm. An hour. So this is now a dollar an hour. So that's not, this is the lowest of the low. So you don't make really any money. You can't cash out unless you're in front of it for at least 30 hours. Yeah. And and, and before anybody says, well, why don't you guys just do it faster? Guys, they make it impossible. We, we did do it fast. It's yeah. just that if you type in you're a white male who lives in Texas with married and stuff like that. They'll re-ask you and you have to remember what you said. If you lie. But if you don't lie, what if you accidentally press something else? It's just impossible. Well, the reason why she's saying lying is because we were doing it as an experiment and we didn't really want to give our who we actually were. Now, a lot of you might say... They were asking for the zip code and everything. Yeah, a lot of you guys might say, well, they can figure it out from IP addresses and all that. That's true. But we didn't want to make it easy for them. So we did have a certain profile that we stuck to. But the problem is, though, regardless of it, they ask you it over and over and over and over. And I feel like the real research is not even the surveys. The real research is who's coming on their site. Right. Because that's wow. the one. That's the question they keep asking over and over and over, over and over. Over and over. They're asking whether or not what race you are. They're asking how much you make. They're asking where you live and like who's in your household. Those are like the four things that they're always asking. Yeah. And I'm surprised they don't ask you for your social security number. Like, <laughs> that's yeah, true. They ask, ask it all. So much. <laughs> so the survey that I did was about um, 
What was that about? It was uh, it was something about shopping. 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 Shop. Oh, sorry, my online. favorite online place to shopping. shop. And there and was you, another one I did. I don't remember what that one was, though. I can't remember. I don't even remember, remember. what you did. You it really was, did a shopping one. It was just so... It was basically nonsensical. Yeah. And I did... No, I watched videos. Well, I tried to watch videos. Oh, guess how much you make from watching a video. <laughs> you guys would never guess it. I'll give you a second to guess. Mm-hmm. Well, you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you guessed is wrong. Okay. <laughs> how much is it, guys? One cent. The biggest one was two cents. Oh my goodness. For real. I literally, when I was younger, I always saw people saying, oh, if you watch these videos, and if you take these surveys, you can earn a lot. But, oh my goodness, this is like, you can't earn anything. It doesn't come easy. It's so funny. When I was editing the video, you said that you'd rather do it for free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know what? I watch videos on YouTube for free. And to me... I would rather do it for free because if you're going to watch this video for one cent, you have to answer, who are you? Where do you make? What do you make? Where do you live? All your household stuff before you even watch this video for a penny. It's clearly a scam. It really is. I did on, on um, I did a survey on what would I buy from Amazon or something like that. It was like they gave me like a fake store profile and made me say, OK, what would you buy from this? what moisturizer would you buy and i was like oh i'd buy this one then they were like okay if this was sold out then what would you buy okay i'd buy this one if this is sold out and they did that over and over and over <laughs> over and over and over oh i did a survey on menstrual pads and it was pretty personal so i didn't even finish it because it was, was just way too long and then like super I was, long and i was reading it like like as if it was a test because like <laughs> i wanted to make sure that i got everything she right <laughs> and then Shasha took over Soon yeah. after that. We couldn't <laughs> even finish it. It was just so long. It was so long. It was so, it was so long. long. Your part was the longest. Your and mine was, was the longest. longest editing. Your part is like so long. Oh, you can just cut that out. Like, just cut <laughs> as much as you can out. You don't even have to keep everything. Let me it's tell so you guys, long. this is not the this is not the move. If you want to make money, this is not the move. No. What's the move then, Except, mommy? Except okay. Now looking at this, and I, I teased this on the video. At the end of our video on Cardionics, I teased how I was going to tell you how you can actually make money with these sites. And I was thinking about one way, but now I actually know two ways. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. So I was going to tell you guys something, all right? Okay. If you're going to these websites to make money, unless you plan on being in front of your computer, um, let's say you want to make $100, you'd have to be in front of it roughly about an 100 hours. So unless you want to be in your computer for 100 hours, that's not the move. But let me tell you about two ways that you can make money with these websites. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Okay. I'm okay. Ready. The first one is an obvious one to a lot of people who do affiliate marketing. So you've got this type of site and other sites like it being promoted on a lot of different money websites. And so what they do is they write a little paragraph on it saying, hey guys, if you want to make some quick cash from home, why don't you go on this website? And then, they, and then you as the person say, ooh, I want to check this out, and you click on it. Every click that that web money website gets, they get a percentage of money. Sometimes it's just a fixed, a fixed amount. Sometimes it's a percentage of people who actually sign up and whatever they had to pay, whatever it is. You get that money as a website owner who has the, you know, you make that you make that website all about money. You put that affiliate link on there. When the person clicks, now you get the money. You're making far more money than the people who are actually going to that website to actually see if they can make quick cash. But there's a second thing too. Okay. Let's just say I could start my own survey website. I could oh, have yes. my little survey website make up these random websites, um, sorry, random surveys, claim you get 25 cents or $5 or whatever, I know that I will tire you out, I will sabotage you before I ever have to pay you any money, but guess what, you came to my website, you saw ads on my website, you might have clicked on the ads on my website, and now oh. I'm paid. Wow, I didn't even think about that. That's probably how they make their, well not probably, that's how they make their money. Exactly. They're not paying you, please. And if they do have to pay you a little five dollars, that's nothing compared to the amount of money that they're making from ads, affiliate links. Th those those server websites are their own affiliate links, people. 
So that's it's all a scam unless you do it the other way. And even if I were to, let's say, write an affiliate link or a, a website and, and promote it, I am going, this is what I'm going to do. I told the audience on our other video, I said, you know what? I'm going to do a test and I'm going to write a little paragraph and recommend this website and tell you guys how much I earn from the affiliate link to that website. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is because one, I really want to see how much I can earn. I, I mean, there's estimates about how many, how much money people are making from these websites, uh -huh. these affiliate websites. I want to see how much we would earn. But two, listen, it's not a lie. If you really do want to make, you know, a quarter, you still, you can do the survey. Yeah. Will you be guaranteed pay it? I don't know. I don't know if you'll be paid it, but I wouldn't be lying. It would be saying, hey, if you want to try to earn cash, and that's the way I'll word it. If you want to try and earn cash, click on this link. Anyways, I, I really think it would be good to just share how much you would actually make. That's my, that's my thing. Yeah. I wonder if there's anybody who's ever just beat the system and actually made some kind of money on there. Oh, the way they advertise no. these things, they act like you can, they act like it's a replacement for like McDonald's and they, it's not. Yeah, they, they do act like that. <laughs> you know, it's so not, it's not, you, you would have to be sitting there with the same amount of money or not money. What am I talking about? You'd have to be sitting there with the same amount of work or hours that you would say as a part-time job and you'd be making a fraction, not even a fraction. I mean, it's. It's like, it's no, so if minuscule. You, if you sat in front of there for 24 hours in the day, you would only make $24 maximum. And if the minimum wage is $7 and McDonald's is like, you earn $7. I don't even know how, you, if you, do you earn $7 at McDonald's? I really don't know. We never work there. I mean, but yeah. <laughs> if you are at McDonald's, say minimum $7, you get there at eight. When do you start work? <laughs> eight o'clock let's just say you work from Early. like eight, eight to one eight to one no i are some people at fast food restaurants they stay there to like midnight yeah so but I don't usually even know. The, their shift starts later though okay so from one to twelve a 10 hour day a 10 hour day times seven 70 dollars a day you know, I don't think shifts I'm, are that I'm long. enjoying listening to this. Either. I'm enjoying listening to this because my girls, they work hard. Don't ever let anybody tell you they don't work hard. They work extremely hard. They're entrepreneurs and they work and what and they run they run they help run the business, okay? But they've never had a job outside. So it's amusing <laughs> to me to hear them say, When do you go to work? What time? And then what? Is it is it five hours? Is it ten hours? Because I remember when you were a nurse, I remember you waking up at like night. Not no, night, but it looked like night but outside. I don't nursing, know how other people do it, though. Nursing <laughs> is different than McDonald's. <laughs> well, I have a feeling, though, McDonald's, if you're doing the morning crew, like the morning breakfast shift, I'm thinking you have to probably get there about five or six to get oh, ready for the... True. Right. But... Oh, snap. You know, there's a lot of McDonald's, though, that are open 24-7. Right, but I don't think that they work 10-hour shifts. No. Well, more like... I'm sure some employees work eight hours some probably and eight hours usually is a full-time day like eight hour job but some some people i think would could do six hours you know my ideal is a four hour work day Ooh. i've oh. always said that nurses should have a four hour work day because it's exhausting taking care of patients for longer than that by four hours you're still refreshed you're still happy about life <laughs> And, you know, you're okay. But after that, four hours, it's downhill from there. It's downhill. And then when we had to start working 12-hour shifts, forget about it. Wait, how long did you work? I've done eight-hour shifts. I've done 12-hour shifts. And then when I was as a nurse practitioner, of course, you'd think, oh, I'm a nurse practitioner now. I can work less. No, no. Now I work the regular full-time hours, and then I'm charting all night on top of that. So now my day was even longer. Wow. Oh, snap. Anyway, I, I complain about it all the time. I haven't worked as one in years, but <laughs> sometimes I have PTSD that. about it. Sometimes I forget that you haven't done it four years. Sometimes I I'm like, know. oh my goodness, it was just yesterday. Yeah. I <laughs> know. Oh my goodness. Guys, I'm telling you, gig work is great, I think, but you have to find the right gig. And in our yeah. series, we're going to look for the right gig. Do you think that Uber Eats or like Postmates would be better pay? I guess we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Yeah, we're going to have to see. I'm a little nervous about that one. I mean, I know we're going to talk about it more when we actually do it. I don't like dogs. I don't know. So I'm a little nervous. And the thing is, for some of my jobs, I have had to go to homes, you know, and you did it. Yeah, I did. And I couldn't stand it because 
I, I'll get into it. I just, <laughs> I'll we'll, when we get there, we'll get into it. But for mm-hmm. the most part, let's talk about the positives and the negatives to this job. We've talked about the negatives in terms of pay. Are there any positives? It's better than twiddling your thumbs. <laughs> is it though? You know, I don't, you're probably right. I don't think it is. I mean, I, at least you're exercising your thumbs. This seems like such a waste of time. I think it's good for memorization because, you know, it makes you want to, you know, memorize the answers that you did beforehand. Okay, but like, let's just say you were being honest <laughs> about who your profile was and you didn't have to memorize. That's you just knew your of, life. No, but sometimes, you know how like when you ask something over and over again, sometimes it makes you be like, wait, did I, is, is this real? Like, you know, <laughs> I mean, when you ask true. something over is and over, real? you're like, that's true. Wait. I don't know how much I make all of a sudden. <laughs> um, I, I, I agree with Sinead, but I think it's a good observa- observation of yourself. You know why? Why? Because you're saying, how much do I spend shopping? How much do I, 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 I go to the store? Um, That's true. actually a really good point. I never even thought about that. That's actually really good. Wow. Wow. Because they, they asked, if you guys did not see the video, they asked a lot of questions like that. Yeah. How much do you spend on fast food? How much, I think, how much, what stores you go to online versus mm-hmm. in real life? Yeah. That was one of the questions too, I think, with, for our mommy, I think. Wow. Wow. That's, that is so true. Well, I got to say, um, if there's one positive, that has to have been it. Because I can't see really anything else that's positive. Me I mean, either. If I was guaranteed the money, then maybe it would be positive. But it's not guaranteed. But I mean, in this day and age, like being paid a quarter per survey, it just seems like that is way behind inflation. Yeah. I mean, maybe even a dollar per survey would be more. It would be better. To where we are at, you know, right now. Yeah, and even it, that would still be minimum wage because if we could, if we did four surveys for 25 cents in one hour we would still only be making four dollars per hour if it was a dollar per survey instead of a dollar no i'm saying if we (laughs) no because we did that we were we made oh each of us doing each of us did one and we made a dollar an hour doing a 25 cent survey but if we were all paid a dollar per survey we would have only still made only four dollars which is still way below minimum wage right true but then you know what they would do they would do the cash out at probably like $60. Yeah, yeah. That's they'd make true, the cash yeah. out earlier. I mean, later. Yeah. So uh, they just find ways around it. This is crazy. And I see these, I'm telling you, I see these things offered so much. I am so excited to try my little experiment because this, you just mark my words, guys. I'm going to compare how much we made because at the end of the day, we got $5 for signing, for up. signing up and we made a dollar, right? About a dollar, yeah, because it's it's ended off at like six seventy five. We got five dollars and fifty cents, I think, for from signing, signing up. up. Yeah, yeah. So that's an imaginary yeah. five fifty. They didn't really give you that. <laughs> Just like our dollar was imaginary. I mean, that's true. It's all imaginary until you actually get the payout. You, it doesn't exist yet. And, and it's just it, what bugs me is that it's sold as being such a oh, this is the answer to all your life's worries. Just work from home. I mean, I hope we don't get disappointed a lot in our lot in our gig. No. I, I know, really right? Do. I think we will not be disappointed in the Uber Eats or something like that. You know, you don't I know, think, Sasha. I think they might pay more. Hmm. We don't know. We don't. Ha- we we're not just doing Uber Eats, don't we? We we need to do Honestly. Uber too. Yeah, regular Uber. A regular Uber. But don't you need a car for that? You're saying we don't we have, have a car? No, I mean a license car. You just need to register it. I'm not understanding. We have a license car. No, I mean like Uber gives you a car. No, Uber doesn't give oh you a goodness. car. No, you have to use your no, own. No, sweet car. child, <laughs> they don't give you a car. <laughs> you have to use your own. Oh wait, wait I thought they had. No. Did they put a button on it because you know how on the app Shasha, you can track Shasha, people. Shasha. You know how on the app you can track people. Like see, they track oh, your the- phone. Oh, they track your phone, but not yeah. the car. Not the right. car. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that makes more sense than tracking the car. <laughs> And tracking the phone and tracking the car. Well, I think they also track the car too. They, I think they put a thing on it, right? No. I thought you. Wait, what? I thought they did. No. Okay, it's just the car. I mean, it's just they the, give it's you a phone. sticker. I don't. They don't put a tracker on your car. Oh, okay. Maybe that was something else I'm thinking about. Oh, that maybe that's taxis. Lyft, maybe. Maybe that's taxis. I'm thinking about. I'm sorry. Never that's mind. That's crazy. If they put a man, no, no, that would be crazy. Oh wait, no. I'm I thinking. Know. I'm, Sorry, I'm thinking about car dealerships when you have a car and then you have to pay for it and then they have a tracker on it, right? Is that 
No. Okay. Okay. So what uh, what what Sinead is referring to is <laughs> a long time ago, I bought a used car from a dealer. And this is the first time I've ever dealt with this. Um, we bought a used car and I thought it was a great deal. I'm like, yeah, look at me. And by the way, this was pre YouTube, but I was still actually making really good money. So I wanted to go and get a really good deal. So I go to this dealership and I buy this car and they're like, OK, before you leave with it, though, we have to put the tracker on it. I was like, the what? They're like the tracker. And I'm like, what are you talking about? They're like, well, we put this thing on there so that if you're ever behind on your payments, it just shuts the car down. I had read about this stuff, but I never even knew that I would actually have a car with that. So I was like, you know, I got to the point where I was like, should I buy this car? Should I not? Because this is kind of weird. What the? But I thought, you know what? I'm, I'm going to pay it. So Wait, did they ever shut it down? No, because I I was making good money. I just oh, okay. wanted to get the deal. So I bought the car anyway. Oh, OK. okay. So I bought the car. Everything is fine. And the thing is, not only did I pay on time, within only a few months, I paid it. I was able to pay it off. Wow. Did wow. they take the tracker off? So that's the thing. So I go to the dealer and I say, OK, guys, I paid this thing off. You should remove this tracker. And they were like, oh, um, OK, well, first I called them. And I said, I really need to remove this tracker. Ooh. They said, hold on. And they left me on hold for like over half an hour. So I hung up. So I call again. Guys, um, I was just in yeah, not too long ago. Can you remove this tracker? Because I'm done. Oh, OK, hold on. Same thing happened. So I go, you know what? I got you. I'm going to drive over there. Okay. So I drive over there. Oh, no. And um, I'm like, so I'm here. OK, guys, can you remove this tracker? I have proof I've paid it off. She's like, well, let me let me call the lender. What are you calling the lender for? I have the proof right here. But go ahead. Go ahead. Whatever. Just get this thing off. And then they call the lender. And then they're like, um, sorry, we've never done that before. We've never removed a tracker before. Seriously? So like, what do you mean? What are you telling me? Um, we're saying that we've never mo removed it before. We're not going to remove this one. So I paid this thing off fully. And you still won't re remove the tracker, even though you have proof. Oh. Hmm. So. We don't have that car anymore, do we? No, I promptly sold it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I sold it. I sold it because I was like, this is ridiculous. And I got another car. I know some of you might be going, what? Trust me, at the time, this was, it has served me well. And I was able to go ahead and do that. And, you know, and it was fine. But I was not going to drive around with a tracker when I didn't need one. And any minute someone can just pull the lever and then all of a sudden it gives out on me on the freeway or something. Yeah. I had already taken that chance. And now looking back, I go, why did I even get that? I really didn't even need to buy it in the first place. But, you know, you live and you learn. Mm -hmm. But I was like, wow, look Whoa. at these people. You're a piece of work, man. I've never heard this story before. Me either. Wow. <laughs> Oh. Snap. You always think your children know everything that's going on, but apparently they don't. And it wasn't even that long ago. I mean, it no, was a it while ago, but it was not that long Have ago. Have you ever run it? Have I what? Have, Have you ever run it? Yeah, we were in the car. We've been in that car. So it, was the, it was the Lexus. Yeah. I don't even remember that one. We, we had a lot of cars. We didn't have it that long. It's no, not, because yeah. I sold it. Because yeah, after, yeah. that, <laughs> after that, I was like, forget this. I know. They can track you wherever you go. Yeah, that's another thing. I was like, no privacy. And so I, I, sit, I sit and think to myself, why did I buy this car in the first place? And I know some people out there, you guys might have a car with a tracker. And that's fine if that's the choice you want to make. But for me, I did not have to do that. But I was, I was in a different mindset where I was more about the deal and not necessarily about protecting my privacy or... <laughs> yeah not taking the risk that they wouldn't you know do anything anytime they felt like it so now i'm in a different space though i wouldn't do it now not even if i didn't have a lot of money i would still not do it i would just try to find any other way because i did end up reading a lot of articles and there were people who had the car shut down because um like in the middle of driving it some people they had an emergency and the people had shut it down in their driveway and they weren't able to use it. So that kind of nonsense. No, I, yeah, I don't no. ever want to deal with that. Snap. Yeah. So anywho, guys, I don't know how I got off on that tangent. But <laughs> as you guys watch the podcast and watch Cardionix and even our other channels as the Onyx family, you guys will see. You'll get to know us. and You guys will see who we are and hear about a lot of the stuff that we've gone through. So 
that was our first entrance into the gig, the gig economy. economy. And okay, we need a system, guys, whether we say yay or nay or thumbs up or thumbs down thumbs or down, stars. That what are we going to say about this gig? Thumbs down. A thumbs okay, so we're going to go with down. thumbs, huh? Okay. I say thumbs is simple. Okay. Yeah. All yeah. right. So one, two, three. What do you think about this gig? Thumbs down. Thumbs down. I mean, so down, like like it's lower than the ground. It's low. Just, yeah, yeah. We're, we're not neutral. Good. This can be neutral. Yeah, neutral is this. You know what? I don't like neutral. Neutral is I'm indecisive, <laughs> and I'm actually sometimes I can be very indecisive. And you're neutral. You're, you're this. You're sideways. <laughs> I do have to say though, <laughs> talking about being indecisive, so we have this. Um, we have this uh, what do you competition in our family? Who's gonna read a hundred books this year? I read one so far. I'm so excited. I'm halfway through my other one. Oh really? Really? Well, come this Saturday. We originally it was Same. only a few of us, and I I was the first one to finish a book. So what I did was we have a thing on the wall, and it has all like one two three until a hundred, right? And so on number one, I circle the number one, and I go, wait, should I circle it or should I cross it out? And now I cross it out. You see what I mean about sometimes I'm indecisive? <laughs> That's weird. So I cross it out. So and that number one has a circle and an X. So Shasha finishes her book, and now she puts a circle and an X, <laughs> reflecting so my indecisiveness. Funny. And then now Daddy had photocopied my sheet, and now everybody's number one has a circle and an X. <laughs> that that is it's an analogy of how your indecisiveness can just be just broadcasted to the world. So anyway, I guess I come around all that to say, let's just do thumbs up or thumbs down. Let's not be indecisive and go, I don't know. Either you like something or you don't. Right? <laughs> I agree. And we all agree that that was a big thumbs down. That was a huge yep. thumbs down. All right. We need an outro for Cardionics too, guys. I put an outro and an intro. No, but like for us to say. Oh, how about we all harmonize? Okay, let's. I not. love it. All right, then. Bye, bye guys. guys. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> we are just. I don't even want to say signing out. Like I'm, you know. Like no, a, let's say it in different cockpit. language. Like sayonara. Uh, what was what's the other language? You know what? Oh. Then we're gonna be hit with cultural appropriation. No. Well, um. Why don't we just say bye? <laughs> yeah. Why don't we do that? All right, guys. It was great talking to you. We yes. will see you later. Bye. bye. Adios. Bye. Ha, <laughs>